In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a YouTube channel from scratch and also show you some of the settings you need to have on your channel so that you rank quicker on YouTube. Hi there, David Walsh here again from davidwalshonline.com, your place to connect and grow with video. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your business with video. So we're going to hop over to YouTube and we're going to set up a brand new channel from scratch along with those settings you need to have on your channel to make sure that you're set up correctly and also rank your channel quickly on YouTube. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we are on youtube.com. So first things first is I always set up brand new channels in incognito mode or private mode with my browser. This guarantees that there's no tracking cookies or anything like that from YouTube or Google or anyone else when creating my channel. So once you're in private or incognito mode, go over to the top right and click on sign in. So if you have an existing Google account that you want to use, log in with this. Or if you want to set up a new account or you don't have a Google account that you can create a YouTube channel with, then click on create account. Now, when you are given the option here for myself or to manage my business, always select for myself. The reason for this is that YouTube are clamping down on businesses who want to use YouTube to promote their business. So they are going the same way as Facebook. They want to charge people for promoting their videos. So I always recommend selecting for myself. So click on that. So pop in your name. So if you have an existing Hotmail or Yahoo or other email address that you want to use to set up your Google account, you can pop that one in there. Or if you want to, you can create a Gmail account instead. And that's what I'm going to do here. And once I've got that, then I'm going to pop in a password and then click on next. Then it's going to ask you for your phone number to verify your account. Once you've got that in, click on next. Then it will send you a verification code to your phone number. Pop that in. It's just a six digit code. Now, if you don't receive the code, you can get them to send it again or you can select call instead. That's where a machine will call you and give you the number via voice message over the phone and you can pop it in that way. If you still have problems and you don't get the text message or you don't get the call or both, then use a different number. Click on back, pop in a different number and get one that works. Once you've got your number, click on verify. The next thing it wants you to do is to add a recovery email address. This is important because if you lose your password or if you lose the information regarding this account, you have a secondary email that you can send this to. So pop in a secondary or recovery email address here and then put in your date of birth. Select your gender or not, depending on which is your preference. Once you've got that done, click on next. It then gives you the option to get more from your phone number. I tend to just skip this. If you want to, you can click on yes, I'm in. Next thing to do is to agree to their terms of service. Go down to the bottom, check, check, and then click on create account and confirm. Now you're all done. So now you've just created your account. You need to set up your YouTube channel. So go up to the top right, click on your name, and then click on create a channel. So click on the get started button. Now you're given two options. One is to create a personal account using your name. This is if you want to keep it personal and just use your name, that's fine. You can go ahead and click on the select button there. What I would recommend is to use a custom name and this is what's called a brand account. This allows you to have any name that you want and also allow you to add managers to your account so that you can add people in there to manage your account once it gets big. So if you are a business and you want other team members in there without giving them the logins, then click on select the brand account, which is the one on the right hand side. This is where you can select the name that you want. So if you'd selected the other one, you would have just your name. You don't have the option to select any name that you want. So pop in the name that you want. So this can be your name. It could be your business name or whatever. Then check the box and then click on create. So the next thing to do is to upload a picture. So I'm going to pop one in. So once you're happy with that, move on. 
So the next thing to do is to tell viewers about your channel. This is what's going to appear on the about section of your YouTube channel. So I've got some text already written. So what you want in here is some keyword rich text. This will allow you to rank your YouTube channel even before you've got content up. So I've added keyword rich text around organic bananas. So I've popped in some keyword rich text that people could be using to search for bananas. And as I said, you can use this to help rank your YouTube videos for your key terms. The next area you want to do is add links to your site. So I'm gonna put in a call to action here. So I've popped in some text here, get Joe's organic bananas here. So that's a call to action rather than just having your website. And you'll see what that looks like in a second. And then I've popped in my website here. Then if you have a Facebook page, you can pop in your URL there if you have Twitter. And if you also have Instagram, you can add them there too. Now, if you don't have any of them, you can just leave them blank and we can add in other social platforms now in a minute. Once you've got that added, click on save and continue. Now we have our channel set up. The next thing we want to do is to customize our banner at the top. And as I said here, we can click on customize channel for that. First thing we want to do is to go to the about page and finish any other information we want here. So we'll click on customize channel. So this allows me to customize my about section. So if I want to add an email address in here, then I'll pop that in then click on done once I've got my email address in. So if people wanna contact me, they can do so there. Another good thing is to pop in a location. So I'm gonna put down into UK, so there. What can happen is that YouTube will select Afghanistan as your country if you don't select one. So you definitely need to tell it where you're from. Now, if you haven't got any Instagram or Facebook or Twitter links, then you can customize that here. So you can pop in a new one. You can have up to five show on the channel banner, which we'll show in a second on there. The first one is going to be the one with the text. So get Joe's Organic Bananas here. That is a call to action. This is the website. Or if I've got another social platform, I can pop that in here. I can delete these if I want and add in another one there. When you have that set up, click on done. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add our channel art. So click on add channel art button and then find the image that you want. If you haven't got one, you need to create an image that's 2560 by 1440. That's 2560 by 1440. Now we do have a video on how to create a channel banner. Link is in the description below. Once you have your image, drop in your image that will upload. And if you have it correctly, you'll see that the image will work very well on all devices. Now you can adjust the crop if you want, but this works fine. So we'll just click on select. And there we have our channel banner up there. Now we mentioned the links that we have in our about section. This is where they show up here. So if you want to change your call to action or add any other social links, you can do so down at the bottom as we've done earlier. Now, the next thing we want to do is to set up some settings inside of YouTube to make sure that our channel is optimized as best as possible. So we go up to the top, click on Creator Studio, and then on the left-hand side, we want to go down to Settings. So under Channel on the left-hand side, you wanna add in the keywords for your channel. So these are your channel keywords. So we want bananas, and you put in your keywords followed by a comma, so pop in as many keywords as is relevant to your channel there. Then go to advanced settings. So one big thing on YouTube now is that content for kids is not monetizable. So you need to let YouTube know that your content either is or isn't for kids. So you let them know here. If it is, then select yes, but preferably it isn't, then click on no and this will carry through to all your content. Now, if you want to review this on each video, then select, I want to review this setting for every video. But if your content isn't for kids, then select no. You can also link other Google accounts here, so you can link your Google ads here if you want to do so too. Now, if you want to add branding on your videos, click on branding and what you can do is you can have a little watermark image on the bottom of your videos. If you have an image that's 150 by 150 or a square image, click on choose image. 
and I'm selecting my banana. So you can have this at the end of your video, custom start time or entire video. I'm just gonna select entire video. Lastly, if we come under feature eligibility, we have our default features enabled. The next thing we want to do is to add all the other features to our YouTube channel. So I'm gonna click on status and features that opens up a new tab. So while that is loading, I'm gonna click on save here. So you can see here under our status and features section that we have a number of things on YouTube that are not enabled because we need to verify our account. So we don't have custom thumbnails. We don't have external annotations. We don't have live streaming and we don't have longer videos, etc., etc. So all we need to do is to click on verify. It asks you to select your country. And again, it wants to send a code to our number. So I'm gonna select that. And again, it's sending me another text. And as before, if you prefer that it call you, you can select that option too. Once you've got your six digit number, click on submit. And now your channel is verified. And when we go back to our features, we can see that a lot of features have been enabled and one or two others we can enable. Live streaming, we can. Monetization, we can't until we have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, but we can enable live streaming and it says it'll be ready in 24 hours. So we can see we've got longer videos over 15 minutes. We have custom thumbnails, we have external annotations. So that means we can send people to our website from our YouTube channel. We can also add custom thumbnails so we can have better looking thumbnails on our videos. Once we've got that done, then we want to go back to our settings again. And we can go to upload defaults on the side. So if you have a template description, you can pop that in here. That means that when you upload your video, this text will be added to the description of your videos, saving you time. Now, the next thing I recommend is you change the visibility of your videos to private. So when you upload your videos, they're not published straight away. They don't go public. That gives you time to add custom thumbnails and change the settings before it goes live. You can also add your tags here. So if I've got some common tags I want on my videos, like Joe's organic bananas, etc., I can pop in a number of those tags there that pre-populate on the video every time it's uploaded. If we go to permissions, click on manage permissions, it will open up a new tab. If you have team members or other people who you want to manage your account, click on manage permissions. You may need to pop in your password again. And if you want to add people, click on the invite new users icon up there, then pop in their email address, select the role that you want. So whether they are an owner, manager or communications manager, Typically, they'll be a manager or a communications manager. If they're doing a lot in there, then add them as a manager. If you want to give them more permissions where they're adding other users, etc., then give them the owner permission. Add in your people and then you are done. Once you have all your settings done, click on save. Then when you've got your videos made, click on upload video, upload your video, give it the title it needs, and you're good to go. Once you have your videos done, make sure to create sections on your channel so that people can find your content easily. There's a video on how to do this in the description as well. Now you have your YouTube channel set up. If you are a business owner, make sure to download my free report, the 10 top things every business owner should know about YouTube. Link is up here or in the description below. If you are setting up your YouTube channel, I would love to know what you're setting it up for. Let me know in the comments area below. And if this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays to help you connect and grow with video. Also as well, make sure to watch one of these fine videos here to help you grow your YouTube channel.